Hey all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Taylor and today I have another Steam Deck video for you today. This time we're gonna be talking about this guy, which is the Steam Dock. This is essentially a docking station that you can place your Steam Deck onto. And then there are multiple connections on the back to connect things like monitors, TVs, peripheral devices, anything that you want to turn your Steam Deck into a gaming console. We're gonna explore that today by unboxing the Steam Deck here and then we're gonna hook it up to an entertainment system much like you would have in your living room and see how that experience is like as a gaming console. So let's go ahead and explore what is possible with the Steam Dock. Before we do that though, here is a quick disclaimer. Here we go, unboxing the Steam Deck. Oh my gosh, this is so excited. Not the Steam Deck, the Steam Dock. They are two very similar names, aren't they? Let's go ahead and get this unboxed here. The Steam Dock, cutting the plastic. There we go. And now we are, I have a little cardboard on there. Right, so there it is. Oh my gosh, it's a lot tinier than I thought it would be. Woo, that is really tiny. There's the back of it. Look at this little guy. It's so tiny. That's the palm of my hand right there. That's how big it is. Palm of the hand for scale. Wow, so, so tiny. All right, what else do we get in here? Oh, that lifts up. And we get a power cord. Perfect, all right, there we go, easy. Uh, anything under here? Oh, we get a Steam Deck booklet, a bunch of information. I don't think we're gonna read that though, so we'll put that back in the box. And there it is, there is our dock and our power cable. Now let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up. clean okay now that we have the tv set up we got to connect the dock with the power cable to the tv via the hdmi cable here is the insanely long hdmi cable that i'm going to be using all right and finally the steam deck Let's go ahead and put this on. I do have the kill switch case on, so we'll see if it fits. Oh no! Okay, slight problem. The power cord on the steam dock will not fit around the rubber on the kill switch case, so I'm gonna have to take the case off. Hey, we have a signal, oh my goodness. Let's make sure. Okay, the Steam Deck is on now, so we should be able to navigate. Oh, look at this. We get a docking station firmware update. And here is that update right here. It is prompting us to apply. So I'm gonna go ahead and say apply. And now it's doing its first firmware update. Counting down, three, two, one. Okay, there it is. It is updated. This is exciting. Is it updated? I don't know, it's not doing anything. Oh my gosh, what is it doing? I don't know. It's completely black. Look at this. Um, hello? Steam Deck. Steam Dock, please. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. Right there, just immediately comes on. The TV recognizes it. Okay, all right, now let's really get into this and see how it all works on the big screen. We need to put this into pairing mode, so I'm gonna hold down the PlayStation button and the share button until, 
Okay, well, I don't think that worked. I think that just turned on my PS5. Share button, home button, holding it down. Okay, there we go. Now it's pulsating. So that means that we are ready to pair. And I hope you can see that my big head is not in the way. Can you actually see that? Okay, yeah, yeah, you should be able to. And, oh, I passed it. We're gonna go to Bluetooth. And now uh, we're gonna turn Bluetooth on. And wireless controller, I think that's the one we want. Now our controller is red. And it works, look at that. I am using the controller connected via Bluetooth. That was so seamless, so painless, it's working great. All right, now let's go ahead and hop into some games and see how it plays. All right, here I am in one of my favorite games to play on the Steam Deck, which is Bioshock 2 Remastered. And looking at the settings here, it is in 720p, which is what you want it to be in because the Steam Deck, it doesn't have like the most amazing hardware. So you're gonna be hard pressed to run this in like 4K native or 1440p. You might be able to get away with 1080p, but right now I have it scaled in 720p, which I think SteamOS does out of the box. So this should be normal. Unlike the Switch, the dock does not unlock any more graphics performance or resolution enhancements to the deck. The deck is just, the power is there on what you get on the deck. The dock, it's just a dock. All right, here we are in game. And oh my goodness, this is so cool. I'm gonna turn it down just a bit so you guys can hear me. But oh my goodness, here we go. It's just, it's just playing like a console. This is like having a switch attached, but it's a PC, it's a Steam Deck. We're playing a game that you can't play on the Switch. Hello, Big Daddy. Oops, excuse me. Okay, don't get mad. Do you wanna fight me? All right, we're gonna fight, we're gonna fight. Let's just, let's test this thing out. I don't know how to jump. Okay, there we go. I am gonna die, oh my goodness. Okay, run. I think I am out of med kits. Let's go down here, dodge. Oh man, on this OLED, it just looks so dark and crisp. And I'm dead. Okay, that is so exciting. Let's try another game. Okay, here we are in Rocket League, which is such a good game to just sit on the couch, chill and play. So let's go ahead and jump in a game and see how this performs. Okay, I was just in a game and I was talking and I didn't realize that open mic was on. So I was like talking to you guys about the footage and the gameplay and like everyone could hear me because I had open mic on. So I went to my settings and I went down to disable voice chat. And on the PS5, there's like this button down here that will mute the microphone. And when you click it, it actually like takes a screenshot, which is pretty hilarious. I don't think it actually mutes, but I discovered that if you Let's go back to settings here. If you move on the touchpad on the PS5 controller, it will actually like move the mouse and you can like click it and it will like click things a little bit, but you could move the mouse if you wanted to do that. Also, you can hit the home button on the PS5 controller and it will bring up your Steam Deck menu, which is really handy and really convenient. Now let's jump into some gameplay with my microphone actually muted this time. This looks really good. It's not gonna look as good as a PlayStation 5, but it looks really good for 720p. I mean, it probably looks better than the Switch. And I just scored, look at that. Oh my goodness, this game is so hard. I'm not good at this at all. <laughs> oh, oh, is it gonna go in? Oh no, it's not gonna go in. <laughs> I like never play this game, but I can see myself playing a lot more of this by having the Steam Dock because now I can just plug it into my TV and oh, look at that, we scored again. This is so cool. This is such a cool experience that a crazy tiny Steam Deck is powerful enough to run this on a big screen TV like this. All right, let's check out something like a competitive first person shooter and let's see how that performs. 
Okay, so far getting 45, 46 frames per second. This is in 720p. Oh my gosh, there's a person right here and I don't have a gun. Am I gonna die already? No! 50 frames per second, 57. Okay, this is a really bad place to land. All right, now I actually have a weapon, so let's see if I can get into a fight here. And I am playing on the Scuf PS5 controller. It does have the back buttons, so I can like jump and crouch using those back paddles, which is really nice. So if you have a Scuf controller, it is fully compatible here. And I also have a video on the Scuf controller, so if you wanna see more on this, you can check out that video. It'll be somewhere up here in the corner. Oh gosh. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my goodness. Well, that was like really good though. It's pretty smooth. I mean, it's not the smoothest. It's not what you're gonna get on a PC, but fairly smooth. And I could see everything on the map, which was really big. There was no blur spots or places where I couldn't distinguish enemies. I could see pretty much everything that was in front of me, which is really cool. Let's talk about the ports that are on the back of the Steam Dock. We have the cable that is a USB-C cable running from the back of the dock to connect to the Steam Deck itself. After that, there is a DisplayPort 1.4 cable for connecting to like computer monitors. Then there's an HDMI 2.0 cable for connecting to TVs. It's not 2.1, unfortunately. Then there is a power connector for connecting to a wall outlet or a battery pack to power the dock and the Steam Deck. Then there is a gigabit ethernet port. And finally, there are three USB-A 3.1 ports, two horizontal and one vertical. The dock itself serves as a really good stand for the Steam Deck. You can prop it up there and play games just on the Steam Deck itself using the dock as a stand or you can connect it to a TV. It has rubber padding on the bottom of the Steam Dock, so it's not gonna slide around. You can move it and it will stick just fine. And there is rubber inside the cradle too to keep your deck secured while it's connected. The Steam Dock is $89 in US dollars, and it is a fantastic accessory to have. I'm so glad that I made this purchase for the deck because it just allows so much more flexibility, so much more ease of use, and you can treat your deck as more of like a gaming console now. It's really, really awesome. All right, y'all, that is the Steam Dock. This is such a cool little device. I love how it has its own ports and it is supported by Valve and it will receive firmware updates in the future. This is such an exciting accessory to have. Let me know what you guys think of it. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you wanna see more and share this video with your friends and family so that they know about the Steam Dock and this amazing accessory for the Steam Deck. And if you wanna see more content, please follow my Twitter where you can see more content on when I post and know when I'm uploading. All right, guys, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.